The future of GPUs are looking bright. Plus, we have what seems to be Vega benchmarks. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. I'll give Tech Power Up the credit for pointing me to the paper, but either way, NVIDIA has published a paper recently that essentially explains where they plan to go with the future of their GPUs. And the answer is MCMs. MCMs, or multi-chip modules, are basically what AMD's recent CPU architecture is derived of, and it's how they're able to scale so efficiently and easily. For those who don't know, AMD's CPUs are made of modules of cores and memory connected via their really fast interconnect called the Infinity Fabric. To make higher core chips, they simply attach more modules onto the die. This idea isn't new by any means, and Ryzen certainly isn't the first chip to implement it, but I think AMD has at least been a great example to show its potential and the ease of scalability it offers. We also know AMD plans to use the technology on their future Navi GPUs. Well, it's becoming apparent that more traditional monolithic chips are beginning to become less and less viable. Simply put, transistors can only get so small, and dies can only get so big due to far lower yields and therefore are way more expensive to manufacture. Multi-chip modules essentially fixes this issue by making tiny high yield modules that merely connect together to make a more powerful one. Really, I'm sure Nvidia has seen the ultimate end of monolithic dies for a while, but the massive size of their Tesla V100 makes it pretty apparent it will need to happen sooner rather than later. The biggest hurdle to this is getting past the slower interconnect, which means some pretty sophisticated methods of delivery have to be implemented. If NVIDIA is fully able to overcome these, we truly could be looking at some massive gains in performance in the GPU front without transistor shrinks. This may also keep costs pretty steady even as you move up in performance, as sure, you'll need more modules for better performance, but because manufacturers won't have to spend the money necessary for smaller transistor sizes, they should at least somewhat even things out. Let's just say this is certainly an exciting time for the future of GPUs. While keeping with the discussion on GPUs, RX Vega seems to have been spotted over at 3D Mark. While Video Cards seems to think the clock actually makes it an overclocked Vega, I'm not sure we really have confirmation on its official clocks yet. Either way, at 1630 MHz, the highest score has Vega slightly above a stock 1080 and slightly below an overclock 1080. As video cards did express, it's probably too early to say for sure on its future, as more driver updates could easily change this number. Of course, I'm still sticking with my initial prediction of it being between the 1080 and 1080 Ti. So while that ends today's news, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out the GamerMail Discord server where we have some great tech chats. All that is in the description below. Lastly, what did you think of today's topics? Ready to finally get your hands on Vega? What about NVIDIA's thoughts on the future of GPUs? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.